In this video, I will be talking about the optimization process I took, describing each build along the way, and my thought process involved to achieve the benchmark build. While it only took me four attempts to reach my benchmark goal, I am strongly leveraging what I learned during the previous cycle of Boomi six years ago as a starting point. The first decision you need to make is if you are going to attempt the bonus or not. That single decision affects everything as it drastically changes the design and internal forces the Boomi needs to withstand. If you watched my intro video, you will remember this image where I showed the formulas for the tension and compression forces as it relates to the applied load. For the purpose of deciding if it's worthwhile to attempt the bonus design or not, we can just use the simpler compression force formula, which is just the ratio of the length divided by the height times the applied vertical load. For division B, the only design difference between the bonus and non-bonus is the height h. The bonus requires the height to be less than 15 centimeters, and the non-bonus must be less than 20 centimeters. If we divide the bonus compression force by the non-bonus design force, you can see that the length and applied load cancel each other out, and the final result is just the ratio of the inverse of the heights. That makes things very easy to figure out, and our internal forces for the bonus design are approximately 33% more. To see if it's worthwhile to design a boomy that needs to withstand 33% more force, we need to look at the bonus scoring. If your bonus boomy can hold the entire 15 kilograms, you get an additional 5 kilograms added to your mass, or effectively 20 kilograms. What do you know? 20 kilograms divided by 15 kilograms is also exactly 33.3% more scoring potential. To give a concrete example, say you wanted to have a competition score of 2,000. You could either create a 7.5 gram non-bonus boomy that held 15 kilograms, or you could achieve the exact same score by having a 10 gram bonus boomy that held 15 kilograms. That means, at least on paper, both the non-bonus and bonus designs have very similar scoring potential, and both are viable approaches. For what it's worth, that is not the case with Division C this year, but that's for a different video. With all that background out of the way, let's get started on how I approached my first build. From my previous experience, I knew that an 8 gram, 15 centimeter tall boomy that held 15 kilograms should be possible. That would be a 2500 score this year, 20,000 divided by 8. I wanted to start by exploring the non-bonus 20 centimeter design, so that means to get an equivalent score, my target mass would be around 6 grams as 15,000 divided by 6 is also 2,500. Strongly borrowing from what I learned during the previous boomy cycle, this is the design I used. For the compression beams, I used 3 32nd sheet balsa cut to 15 millimeters tall with a length of 42.5 centimeters. The end pieces were 1 32nd by 1 8th basswood cut to 2.6 centimeters. The vertical pieces were 1 16th by 1 32nd basswood, and the over-under cross-member design used 38 pieces of 1 32nd sheet balsa cut to 2.5 millimeters by 3.3 centimeters in length. Finally, the tension sticks were 1 16th by 3 32nd basswood at 43.7 centimeters. The wall bolt joint was made from combining two pieces of 3 16th by 3 16th basswood cut to 16 millimeters. Here you can see the total mass of all the different components if you'd like to take a closer look and study the details. The completed boomy after coming out of my dry box weighed 6.081 grams, so very much in line with my initial mass target. Let's see how this one did during testing and what we can learn from how it failed. Here is the boomy set up on the testing stand. While you are not allowed to use a level during actual competitions, it's extremely important that the boomy is level, which is affected by the lateral position on the wall. I recommend practicing setting up without a level, but double check your results before continuing to the actual testing. Here is the first boomy on the scale weighing 6.081 grams right before testing. This is the live testing of the boomy. As you can hear with the sand pouring, I like to load the device pretty fast to limit the time under maximum load. You can really start to see the compression member bending and the vertical members bowing outward as they help resist the compression bending. Even with this non-bonus 20 centimeter boomy, the internal compression and tension forces are very high. You can see that the boomy held a respectable 12.402 kilograms for an actual efficiency and competition score of 2039.5.
What we are always looking for when examining the high speed footage is what was the very first thing that failed. That will tell us what the weakest part of the build was and can help guide future builds. If I freeze the video right at the first failure, you can clearly see that the front compression beam is buckling inward. That would indicate for the next build, if I leave the cross bracing design the same, I want to increase the beam mass a bit and reduce the mass of some of the other components to offset the gain. Here is a picture of Boomi number two. I'll highlight the changes from the previous build in my spreadsheet. The only design change was to add the fourth horizontal basswood end piece on the underside of the Boomi. You can see that the average beam mass has increased from 1.857 grams to 2.014 grams to try and account for the failure we saw in the first test. The vertical pieces, the cross members, and the tension sticks have all been reduced slightly in mass to try and offset the gain from the beams. The final result was that the dry weight boomy for this build only increased by 0.08 grams. Let's see how this one does. Here it is on the scale right before testing weighing 6.163 grams. I'll pick up the live test midway through loading to save some time. This result was pretty disappointing as it only held 9.128 kilograms for an actual efficiency and competition score of 1481.1. Let's see if we can find out what happened by looking at the high speed footage. If I freeze the video at the point of failure, it's obvious that it was a tension attachment failure at the wall bolt joint. The stick has sheared away from the joint, which is a clear sign that either the glue joint was not good or it was too short. It's clear that for at least this combination of material, the joint made from two 3 16 inch pieces of basswood are not enough. The rest of the boomy survived this test with no damage, so for the next test, I'm just going to splice on a stronger rebuilt tension bolt joint. Here is the exact same boomy as before, but as you can see, I have spliced on a new wall joint. This time I'm using two 3 16 inch basswood pieces along with a 1 8 inch piece to make the contact with the tension stick a bit longer and stronger. Because this build wasn't from scratch, I don't have all the same data like total tension mass, but you can see that the joint piece went from 0.195 grams to 0.264 grams, and the final completed boomy gained just over 0.1 grams. Let's see if we get a different failure mode this time. Again, I'll pick up the live testing part of the way through to save some time. Holding 12.27 kilograms is definitely better than before, but still not as close to 15 kilograms as I'd like to see for an optimal non-bonus design. The actual efficiency and competition score of this rebuild was 1957.9. Let's take a look at the high speed footage to see what happened. When I freeze the video, it might appear that it's the same failure mode as the last time, but if you look closely, you can see that this time, it's the tension member itself breaking, which is different from shearing away from the joint like it did in the previous test. To further optimize this build, I definitely want to increase the tension mass a bit, but at the same time, it would still be necessary to decrease other parts to offset the gain to try and stay in the ballpark of six grams total for the build. At this point, instead of trying that, I decided to give the bonus design a try to see what kind of score I could achieve. Here is a picture of my first bonus attempt. I decided to keep the same wall joint size as the previous build. The most significant design change is with the tension sticks which are now using 1 16th by 1 8th basswood. You can see the length is slightly shorter at 42.6 centimeters due to the height of the boomy being 15 centimeters instead of 20. Because the loads are 33% higher, I have increased the mass of the compression beams to 2.257 grams, and you can see that the average tension mass has increased to 0.929 grams. The wall joint itself has also increased in mass to 0.387 grams by using higher density basswood. The final boomy dry mass was 7.401 grams, significantly more than the previous build, but if it holds all 15 kilograms, it will get the bonus mass and score much higher. Here are a couple more pictures that document this build. You can see the boomy on the test wall clearly above the 15 centimeter line, so it's ready for a bonus attempt. Here's the boomy right before testing weighing 7.401 grams. If you watched my benchmark video, you already know what's coming next, but I'll include it here again for completeness. If you want to see the complete live test, you can watch the benchmark video, but here is the fun part again. 
It did its job and held over 15 kilograms. The actual efficiency was 2132.4, and more importantly, the competition score is a very impressive 2702.3. The back compression beam fails first with this build, but there is no need to try and make it stronger as we already have a result that holds over 15 kilograms. It would be possible to optimize this further by tweaking design aspects of this build and or reducing the mass of different components. I want to emphasize again that theoretically it should be possible to build a competitive non-bonus design, but I had quicker results using the bonus. If you do want to attempt a non-bonus build, we now know that the mass target to have an equivalent score to this boomy would be 15,000 divided by 2702.3 or just over 5.55 grams. Thanks for watching and good luck this season. Feel free to reach out to me with any specific questions.